This is Escape from Horrorland, which is book 11 in the Goosebumps Horrorland series by R.L. Stein, Chapter 25. Leaning on his crutch, Captain Ben walked to the side of the deck. His men scrambled to get out of his way. His wrinkled skin glowed in the moonlight. He grinned wider and pointed down to a narrow flatboard that stuck out over the edge of the ship. The plank, he said. What would a pirate ship be without a blessed plank? I mates. One of the pirates began to cough again. He choked up a decaying frog, pulled it out of his open mouth, and tossed it over the tr over the rail. I heard the soft splash down below. You're all going to walk the plank at midnight, Captain Ben rasped. His mustache slid up at both ends. And guess what, mates? It's midnight. It's always midnight in the midnight maze. The pirates seemed to think that was very funny. They all snickered and coughed and shook their skinless skulls. The water be deep here, friends, Captain Ben said, leaving on, leaning on the rail. Deep and cold, too cold to survive for long. A chill ran down my spine. My legs were trembling. Was he serious? Did he really plan to make us all step off the deck and drop into the water? I knew the answer. Of course he was serious. He was evil, and he was out for revenge. The word revenge repeated in my mind, and in my fright I began to put some pieces together. Captain Ben was here for revenge against Billy and Sheena. What about the haunted mask, the monsters from the eggs? Were they also here for revenge? If they were, who brought them here? Who brought them all here together at the same time? The same person who invited these very special guests to Horrorland? I didn't have any more time to think about it. Two skeletal pirates grabbed Sheena by the arms. They dragged her across the deck to the plank. Sheena screamed and tried to break free of the bony hands. <laughs> but the dead pirates were too strong. They lifted her onto the narrow plank. Captain Ben raised his wet, eggy eyes to her. The water be deep here, miss, he said again. If you be a good swimmer, you might be able to swim halfway to land before the hungry crocs get you. Again, the dead pirates laughed and slapped each other as if the captain had made a hilarious joke. And then the laughter stopped. Two pirates gave Sheena a shove. She stumbled out onto the plank. Please, no, she begged, please. Let go of my sister, Billy screamed. He rushed at Captain Ben. But two pirates quickly blocked his path. I saw Sheena's knees wobble. She tumbled off the plank and dropped straight down. She screamed all the way down. The splash, the splash sent a spray of water over the deck. I turned and leaned over the rail. I gazed down at the water. Too dark. Too dark to see Sheena. Sheena! Sheena! Her brother Billy screamed down to her. Silence. No reply. Captain Ben tossed his head back and cackled. Revenge be sweet, mates, he boomed. Who be next? How about the young brother here? A pirate grabbed Billy. No way, Billy cried. He made a wild grab and ripped away the pirate's shirt. Pieces of skin clung to the pirate's ribs. Billy lowered his head and plowed into the dead man's chest, but the pirate didn't crumple or fall. Instead, he wrapped his bony arms around Billy and held him still. No, no, Billy screamed, and struggled as the pirates pushed him onto the plank. Another shove, and his hands shot up above his head. His eyes widened in fright, and he went sailing off the end of the board. Another loud splash sent a spray of water over all of us. I stared down into the water far below us. I couldn't see anything in the deep blackness. Captain Ben cackled again. His sunken eyes sparkled with glee. Abby splashed down next, then Robbie, then Carly Beth. I was trembling in fright. I hugged myself to try to stop shaking. Luke leaned against me. He had tears running down his cheeks. Lizzie, he whispered. Lizzie. He was too scared to talk. I squeezed his hand. We're good swimmers, right? I whispered. We'll swim out of this. But, but the pirate said... One of the pirates grabbed my brother before he could finish. Luke tried to twist out of his grasp, but he lifted him off the deck and shoved him onto the plank. I shut my eyes. I couldn't bear to see my little brother fall. I screamed when I heard the splash. My scream of horror turned to anger. I balled my hands into fists and rushed at the laughing pirate captain. <sighs> Startled, Captain Ben raised his crutch to shield himself. I reached to grab it away from him, but two skeletal pirates tackled me and dragged me to the deck. No, no! Scream after scream burst from my throat, and then bony hands lifted me onto the narrow plank and pushed me hard, and I fell screaming into the dark water. 
Chapter 26 I hit the surface hard, sending up tall waves around me. The slap of the water stung my whole body. I sucked in a big breath and held it as I sank quickly. The shock of the cold made my arms and legs go stiff. My heart pounded. I could feel the blood pulsing at my temples. Total panic. Total panic paralyzed me for a moment. Then I finally raised my arms, finally drew it in my legs and kicked. The lake was deeper than I'd thought. By the time I pulled myself to the surface, I was choking and gasping for breath. Wiping water from my eyes, I gazed around wildly, searching for Luke. Where was he? Where were the other kids? Low waves tossed against the side of the pirate ship. Hey! I tried to call out, but panic choked my voice. Luke, where are you? Luke! I gazed up at the wooden plank hanging over the deck high above me. I could hear the pirates' raspy voices up there, laughter, all muffled by the wind and the lapping water. Everyone fell straight down from the plank. They had to be swimming nearby. Where were they? Where? Luke! I raised my face to the sky and shouted my brother's name again. Luke, where are you? Midnight shimmered weakly on the dark waters. The lake was empty. I'm the only one here, I told myself, and the terrifying thought made me want to scream or cry. I'm the only one, the only one. Did the other kids all drown? Sucking in another deep breath, I dove deep underwater and started to swim away from the shadow of the pirate ship. Maybe the other kids were all ahead of me, swimming to the other side of the lake. I was the last one off the ship. Maybe I just couldn't see them because they all got a head start. When I came back to the top, a gust of wind sent a spray of water into my face. Sp sputtering, I spun around again. I shielded my eyes with my hand and squinted into the pale light. I saw only the dark, calm water. Pale moonlight flicker flickering on the surface. No one. I was alone. I opened my mouth to shout again, but before I could get a sound out, I felt a strong pull. A strong pull from beneath me, pulling me down, as if a powerful hand had wrapped around me and was tugging me, tugging me under with all its strength. With a gasp, I flung my arms forward and kicked hard, tried to pull myself free. Such a powerful force, I was helpless, going under, being pulled under, deeper and deeper, like being sucked down a drain. So this is what happened to the others. My last thought before darkness overtook me. Chapter 27 my chest began to ache from holding my breath. I opened my eyes and saw the muddy lake bottom float into view. All the way down, I'd been pulled back an intense current all the way down. In front of me, I gaped at an enormous black hole, a dark rectangle. The water pulled me to it, pulled me inside. A tunnel, I realized, a long, narrow tunnel under the lake. Did it lead anywhere? Did it lead back to the surface? It didn't matter. I had no choice. The powerful force had me in its grip. It was pulling me through the underwater passage, pulling me faster and faster. If only my lungs could hold out. If only my chest didn't explode. All my muscles tensed. I tightened my arms against my sides and let the current pull me. The ache from my chest spread over my body. Pain roared down my arms and back and legs. I knew I couldn't hold my breath much longer. And then a deafening whoosh startled me. I felt a strong push from behind, and I went shooting up. I soared up through the narrow tunnel and burst out of the water. My breath came spilling in. Raising my head over the water, I sucked in breath after breath, wheezing, gasping hoarsely, my chest still throbbing. I shook my head and wiped the water from my eyes. I spun around, struggling to see where I was. Hey, did I hear a voice? I looked up and saw someone waving to me from the dark shore, and then two other kids, and then some others pulling themselves from the water, stepping shakily onto the land. Luke, I cried, Luke. <coughs> he was still in the water, up to his waist. I splashed over to him. You're okay, I cried. I guess so, he said, his voice crackling. I guess we made it, Lizzie. I shook his hand and helped pull him into the sandy shore. We made it, we made it, I shouted. The others all gathered around, shivering and shaking off water. I counted heads, 16 of us, everyone. We're alive, alive, Michael cried, thrusting his fists above his head. We didn't celebrate for long. We were too cold and wet. I felt exhausted, more tired than I'd ever felt. I shivered. I w it wasn't just the cold. It was also my fear. Hugging myself, I turned to the water. I could see the hulking blackness of the pirate ship, tilting in the middle of the lake. We're on the other side of the lake, Carly Beth said, squeezing water from her hair. That underwater tunnel must be part of the maze. It brought us to where we wanted to go. I turned and saw the walls of tall hedges. 
That must be where the maze continues, I said. Maybe we're near the end, Abby said wearily. I, I'm so tired, I don't know how much longer. Her words ended in a sob. Julie hugged herself. We'll help each other, she told Abby. We'll get through this maze. Byron said we could do it, and he said it would lead us back to Horrorland. Without another word, we turned and started to follow the path between the hedges. Luke and I walked side by side, keeping our eyes straight ahead. We've been in this maze for hours, he murmured. It has to end soon, doesn't it? I hope so, I said. I, I'm never going to another scary movie as long as I live. That made Luke laugh. Yeah, and no more.